Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited because this is going to force me to get better. <laughs> As I continue to start what will be week two of my first ever teaching promotion, and I continue to prioritize, of course, that over YouTube, but I still want to make some content. I still want to drop videos on my channel when I can, and you know, YouTube's changing. And I feel so blessed that I was able to have a great run before this promotion because it's like God said to me, you know what, it's time you move on, still leave an imprint, but prioritize your quote unquote real job. I, I do feel for people who only depend on YouTube for revenue because it's just impossible to know if YouTube is going to change the value of your channel or if the algorithm's going to hide your channel. I can't tell you how many horror stories I've heard from smaller content creators who used to get a thousand views per video and now are lucky to get a hundred. And if you do it for fun, I mean, I guess 90% less anything is not fun, but it's not so much pressure because you just think, well, you know, the point is the community, not the clicks. But if, if you're trying to pay your bills with it, it's tough. So I appreciate Everybody who supports any content creator, not just me, but but really anybody, because this is uh, one of those small independent, sort of like a mom and shop or mom and pop shop concept versus like the Amazons. <laughs> I don't know if uh, like the biggest of the biggest YouTubers have noticed any change, but I just have a lot of friends who have smaller channels than I do that that have just kind of had a tough year. So I thought it was important to start off this video with that acknowledgement before getting into the purpose of it, which is, of course, the level up events for Paragon players. Because this thing is very exciting whenever you have somebody that you know you want to rank up. Now, I thought going into this weekend that I was going to take to rank four one of my favorite science champions. And I think... This man is totally a bright light in the science community because he reminds me of this man, a mortal abomination. And that's that he's really, really tough to bring down. And so when it comes to my rank threes, I thought I was going to take up Antivenom because like a mortal abomination, I thought he was the next evolution of my roster. But in talking to friends outside of the game, so mainly on like the lineup, they said, Prof, you are screwing yourself over by not learning this champion and embracing them. And so if you missed my previous video, I used my first, probably in a couple months, six-star generic awakening gym on her. And now I'm going to use... My rank up resources to take Kate Bishop of all champions to rank four, knowing I do not really know how to use her very well, but every time I fight her on defense, I'm annoyed and impressed. And it's it's really this meta with the protection node that makes her even more valuable because dexing her special, especially special one isn't that tough, but it's it's a fight. It's a, a dog fight when you fight her. And you just got to learn to embrace the, uh, the difficulty. And I think she's another champion that every time I get class-based or generic uh, six stones, which I just placed in the top 400 of hero use because... I clearly value my time when I'm on vacation for the weekend. And so that got me another generic six stone. And I think all the way toward the bottom. And I mean all the way toward the bottom. The champion that has the least six. I guess future Ant-Man, America Chavez, and Medusa have less, which is kind of sad. By the way, I finally awakened OG Cap. <laughs> Woo! But that is the Sig Stone going into Kate Bishop. And I just have to say, um, I'm excited to learn her. 
I do think she is the future of the game, and she's also the present. And I've seen people do incredible things with her, but I'm a novice. So I'll be asking my subscribers tonight, hopefully, when I'm back in Oklahoma, to help me out. But in the meantime, this is going to end this video. Thank you again to everybody who continues to help me make the right decisions with my roster. Because also with that promotion, I have less time than ever to learn new champions and to, in general, just invest that knowledge piece in the game. And so this is really helpful. Have a good one, YouTube. Thanks for watching.